Hi, in this video we'll demonstrate how to remove any condensation water from the float. It's normal that some condensation builds up inside your AirBuddy float, especially if you're diving frequently or in a humid environment. If you hear water sloshing inside of your float, take the nylon tubing, which was provided with the purchase of your AirBuddy, thread it through the J-hose all the way down until you feel that you reach the bottom of the float. If you push it too far, it may curl up and won't work. If you don't push it far enough, it won't reach the water and it won't work either. Don't forget to unplug the lid. Take the diver's hose and connect it with the 90 degree plug to the AirBuddy and with the straight plug to one of the couplers on the float. The hose only works one way, so make sure you don't plug it in the other way around. Tilt the float to make sure that you collect all the condensation water in the lowest point, under the J-hose. And then turn AirBuddy on. The condensation water will start pouring out. If not, wiggle the float slightly from side to side. Rotate the J-hose or push the water removal tubing back and forth. Do this until you remove all the condensation water. Remember that you're not supposed to run your AirBuddy without water cooling for longer than some 20 seconds. If you need more time, place it in a container with about 10 centimeters or 4 inches of water for cooling.